Good day, people of God. My name is Prophet Nat Oroyimeka. Uh, thank God for the opportunity given to us at this precious time. By His grace, we are able to meet ourselves here online. I pray for the management and the authority of this uh, station that the power of God shall always abide with you. Uh, I am hereby presenting to you the importance of length. The importance of length. When I'm, what, what kind of length I'm talk, am I talking about? It's L-E-N-T, not L-E-N, not L-E-N-G-H-T. It's length, not length. So, this is length. What is meaning of length? What is the characteristics of length? And what is the advantage or merit of length? The meaning of length is a period of repentance. Period of sober reflection. Period of humiliating ourselves before God. Lenten period. So this is the period we search for the face of God. This is the period we are remorseful for our previous sins and iniquities. So who are the type or categories of people? that do recognize or reckon with lengthy period. These are the born again Christians. Those that have acknowledged God as their creator. Those that believe in birth, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Birth, death, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So, and also, these are the categories of people or classes of people that believe in Trinity, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Before you can go on lengthy period or fasting for 40 days, you have to be a born again Christian. You must be a born again Christian. So, when you are born again, all the criteria, all the biblical principles and doctrines, that Jesus Christ has preached according to the four gospel in the Bible. But somebody is asking me, where are the four gospel books in the Bible? Those are the Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. So, these are the gospel written by the disciple of Jesus Christ because they witness, they, they, they sojourn with Jesus Christ. They live with him, they move with him, they act with him, they wine with him. So they know much about Jesus Christ and they put this one in record for us that are ready to follow him in this dispensation we are. So lengthy period is the period we humble ourselves before God. We bring ourselves low. We repent. So by reflection. Now, what is the characteristics of length? The characteristics of length is to, to, to prepare ourselves for God, to build our spiritual inbuilt, to build our spiritual journey into the interest of God. Number three is to package our life to please God. How? If we are to think about the evil things in this world, this world is, is corrupt. So there are many categories and stages of sins all around us, of which we might have been implicated in one way or the others. So by presenting ourselves to God, reflecting so badly before him, he will forgive us. And since we are forgiven, we can relate ourselves to him as expected. Now, so, when you bring yourself sober before God, you bring yourself so low before God, you are preparing to move or to repackage your relationship with Him. Number three, what is the characteristics of lengthy? Is to overcome temptation. In the book of Luke chapter 4, verses 1 to 4, Jesus Christ was led by the Spirit of God into the wilderness, and He did not eat for 40 days day and night. That is when God himself equipped him 
So, if you want to face the devil, it is not with ordinary face. You are going to prepare yourself for battle. Look at David. When he wanted to fight Goliath, he said, I have learned when I was uh, uh, leading the sheep, I killed lion, I keep being. So, those experiences has taught him to fight war. He said, he has, Psalm 18, first, Psalm 18, verse 34, he said, he has taught my hand to fight battle. So, if you fast, you will be able to get the power to confront the devil. And the Bible says, when you strike against the again, devil, it shall flee. So, if you don't fast, if you don't present yourself closer to God, you may not be able to withstand the day of evil. That's what the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10. He said, be strong. We must be strong in the Lord. Put on the whole armor of God so that we'll be able to stand the day of evil. So without fasting and prayer, you cannot withstand the devil. When he has fasted for 40 days and night, now the devil came to tempt him. He said, you have been fasting, so automatically you are hungry. Command the stone to change to bread or cake. Jesus Christ said, man does not live with the bread alone, but the word that is presented out of the mouth of God. So, if he had never gone through the stages of fasting and prayer, he may not be able to know the right answer to defend the devil. So, if you want to defend the devil, you must be closer to God. So that his spirit will be burning on you, his spirit will be communicating you, his spirit will be leading your way. So I am beseeching the brethren that is listening to me right away, please fast, pray, study the Bible. When you are fasting, you will relate yourself to the presence of God. You will be able to run away from sin, you will be able to study your Bible. The Bible says in Joshua chapter 1 verse 8, he said, this book of law shall never depart from your mouth. You meditate day in and day out. That is when we make your way prosper and it shall be well with you. In Deuteronomy 28 verse 1, he said, if you can diligently seek and obey the rule and regulation that God has, or the ordinances of God, he said, he will lift you above all the nations. Verse 7, he said, the Lord will let your enemy that is waiting against you to be fled from you. He said, they will go away from you. Fasting and prayer empowers us. So please, my brethren, I want you to immerse yourself into 40 days and prayer fasting. And it shall be well with you. What is the advantage? Merit of fasting and prayer. Number one, it makes us get a revelation of what we come on our way and how to relate ourselves to the will of God. Number two, if you are fasting, it has biological advantage. There are some cells, there are some endoparasites within us. When you are fasting biologically, it kills them. And your body, your skin will be nourishing. You will be looking fresh every time. So everybody will be thinking you are eating. After some days or some weeks after the fasting, see how your beauty will come out. Number three, it will bring you closer to God. Because it will prepare you for the rapture. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 52. He said, in the thinking of an eye, there will be a rapture. And if you don't fast, nothing will introduce you to Jesus Christ. Nothing will introduce you to the kingdom. Nothing will associate you with the company of Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, and God. So, it is this fasting and prayer that will enable you to understand the teaching of Holy Spirit. When you read the Bible, it will interpret it to you. Without fasting and prayer, there is no growth in spirit. So, if you want to grow in spirit, you must immerse yourself into the will of God. By how? Fasting 40 days and night every year. By the grace of God, we have been running it over 20 years ago. These are 23 years of running it. And we are okay. We are looking good. It has no any side effect. So, number, number two, when you are fasting and praying, it will let you run away from sin. And when you are away from sin, you become the temple of God. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16, 
He said, you don't know that you are the temple of God and the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. When you become a temple of God, nobody will be able to move you. Psalm 125 verse 1. He said, those who trust in the Lord will be like Monsanto that cannot be removed, but abandoned forever. Psalm 16 verse 8. He says, I have put the Lord always beside me. He is always at my right hand. We shall not be, we shall not be moved. Isaiah chapter 50 verse 7. He said, that is why I set my face unto him. When you are fasting, you set your face unto him. He said, and I know I shall not be put to shame. So, when you are fasting and praying, you are delivering, you are committing your life unto God. And there is nobody that trusts in God that will be put to shame in life. So, brethren, this is the time that we have to commit ourselves to God and to move according to His will. So, when you are fasting for 40 days, you too will be able to overcome the temptation of devil. And it's wise. So, when you are fasting, you are promoting yourself spiritually. So, brethren, is, is an advantage to, for me and you to enjoy this grace that Jesus Christ has left behind as a legacy for the Christians that are preparing for the rapture and the second coming of Jesus Christ. So if you go to Revelation chapter 21, verse 4, he says, And the Lord shall wipe away the tears of the elect, of the chosen ones. So if truly you are born again, Jesus Christ himself, through our Lord, I mean through God, will wipe away our, 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 our tears. And he says, no more death. No more sorrow. So, we will be living in this kingdom comfortably. So, my prayer for you is that you not meet the target of God in Jesus' name. So, the rapture is real. And the Bible says, if we are fasting, we are putting on the immortal. This body is mortal. It's corruptible. So, but when we are fasting, we are destroying the physical body. We are developing the imprint of the spirit, I mean, of the spirit being. So, it now be, it is now left to you to choose. So, if you want to please God, you want to move according to his will and lay down rule and regulation, you give yourself to Christ and you are supposed to keep all the commandments. One of the commandments and the will of God is to fast for 40 days and night. So when you fast, you are emulating the practice of Jesus Christ. You are emulating those people that are running the race of victory in the heavenly manner. So my brethren, God will give you strength, power, anointing, and the grace to run it successfully in Jesus' name. So if you are doing this, you are preparing yourself for the second coming of Jesus Christ. Apart from that, the Bible says in the book of Psalm 125, verse 1, he said, those who trust in the Lord will be like a man's sire that cannot be removed but abided forever. So if you trust him, you believe in him, you are fasting, you are praying, you are running away from sin, you are studying your Bible, you are meditating day in, day out, you will prosper. And your way will be placing God. So I'm now congratulating those of you that have the portion in the ongoing lending period. You are fasting. You are praying, you are presenting yourself before God humbly. So I congratulate you all. We shall receive the reward of lending period in Jesus' name. Jesus Christ overcame when he fasted for 40 days and nights in the wilderness. Everybody get Christian. You can continue with us today. You can start tomorrow. We have about 20, 20 or 25 fasting and prayer more because it will come to an end by 7th of April. That is going to be Good Friday. So and God has prepared his people. To, to preach the gospel in this present time so that people will be moving closer to God. I pray ability to do the will of God shall be given unto us in Jesus' name. So if you know you have never started, you can start today. You can start tomorrow. It is not too late. Since you have given your life to Christ, you believe in Jesus Christ, you believe in Trinity, you believe in the birth, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. So you can partake in it and it shall be well with you in Jesus' name. The Bible says, it is given unto us to die once. In the blue, chapter 9, verse 27, it says, it is given unto a person to die once. After that, judgment. It shall be well with you in Jesus' name. Shall we pray once again? Our Father, we thank you for this glorious grace given to us to be able to speak to your people. We have said it. We have spoken your hearts to them. Father, the more explain to them in Jesus' name. Make your word clearer to them. More than what I have spoken it, 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Once again, my name is Prophet Nato Rohimika, first of Central Evangelical Ministry worldwide. If you want to ask or you make inquiry concerning the issue or the concerning the lengthening or concerning, I mean, for your uh, prayer request, is 080 265 88413.